Let's see, set it down there so we can glance down at least see ourselves. You recording? Yeah. You recording? Yeah, I need to come up though. Yeah, okay. Bring that stuff forward, it's all good. We can leave this in the. Uh... That's better. Yeah. I like I don't that. have my pants in there is what I was trying to get rid of. Okay. In three. You heard that first. He's trying to get rid of his pants. Yeah. In three, two, one. Hey, y'all. It's Rev Tommy Two Tone. And I think I'm still Rick the Village Chill Idiot. How long has it been since we've actually done a hot sauce review? I don't know. I, it's 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 been a while. It's been a long time, and I mean, a minute. over a half a month. Yes. Oh, I mean, excuse me, over half a year. It's been a minute. It has, uh, even though we see each other quite often. Yes. And uh, we work together at times. At times we do. A lot of times. But we just have not had we have not time had that kind of time to get and together. And I've been doing a lot of drone video. videos and all. Yes. So, but not long ago, I was going through my hot sauce stock, and I decided I need to make an order. Okay. With my good buddy Tom Toth at Voodoo Chili Sauces and Salsa. I love Voodoo Chili Sauces and Salsa. Uh, everybody knows. I do too. I've said this before. Uh, his bacon hot sauces are just uh, outstanding. Yummy. Um, um, delicious. Well, Porcus Inferno is my favorite hot sauce pretty much. And I, I can drink it just about. But good he's stuff. moved off into the craft beer market. Nice. Which is very good because, and you know, Alabama has become a craft beer destination. Yes, it has. Uh, uh, in our business alone, we yes. have, how many craft beers do we have on tap? 16? 16 or 17. Uh, so, yeah, we got 17 counting the other tap. Well, how many bottles of craft beers do we have? You're supposed to know this now. Yeah, that I don't know. Probably about 20 more. Maybe so. So at least 37 to 40 different Which is a lot. craft beers in a pizzeria. And most of them are from around our area. Yes, most of them are local craft beers. Uh, however, if you're watching this and you have a suggestion on a craft beer you'd like for us to try in our restaurant, we'll be glad to uh, give it a shot. Yes. We, so, have, we have testers there. We do have testers. I myself do not partake of those things. However, I don't mind that we sell it and get a lot of business. From Absolutely. It. Now, let's get back to business. With that being said... I ordered some hot sauces from Tom, and he threw this one in and said, "If you, you and uh, Rick want to review it, do so." We're doing no so. pressure. He, you know, it's been quite a few months. Been sitting on the shelf. Yeah, you can we see how fast got we got together. on there, yeah. Tom. We got now, right yeah, on Yeah, that's now. right. If we had felt pressure, we'd have done it. But Tom's <laughs> not like that. He just wanted us to try this sauce, and and so we're going to try it. And since I still have quite a following of hot sauce people on YouTube. And a few drone people, and they'll get to see this. We'll go ahead and do a review. I'm sure we, we're rusty. Now, as far as tasting sauces and peppers, I'm not rusty at all. I still eat peppers every day. Uh, I, I don't. Still, I still eat hot sauce pretty much every day. That I do. Okay. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and give this a shot. This, hey. Let's talk about it first. Let's talk about it. Voodoo Chili, or Voodoo Child, that's, that's a play on words, too. And I get the uh, Jimi Hendrix um reference easily everybody like does it. i do too this is called bloodline it is I made like with a blood orange ale i say i already like that i do too okay i love blood oranges first of all i do too and when i was a beer drinker i drank ales ales, ales and lagers ales were my are favorite very good. yes a voodoo master of heat and hop obsessed brew master have the same thing coursing through their veins and it's delicious Juicy blood orange and citrus hot bitterness meets habanero fatale and cayenne heat in a sauce that makes hothead a term of endearment in collaboration with Flying Dog Brewery. Now, he's done other oh, sauces wow. with them that have been really, really good. Let me say this, too. Um, I love a fatale pepper. I was going to say, I love the fatale pepper. Good Second only right to the habanero. Habanero's got a great flavor as well. As an, over, and as an overall times. pepper pepper, the cayenne pepper's a great pepper as well. So you've got all these flavors. you got the cayenne, which is a, a capsicum anum. And then you have the fatale and the habanero, which are chinets. Chinets, yeah. So, so uh, you've got all this mixed together with juicy blood orange 
and a citrus hop beer. Now, I imagine it said the bitterness of hops, which is kind of like a pale ale to me, or, or India pale ale, IPA. I love hops. You know me. I am a very hoppy He's type hoppy. person. I He's love, a very hoppy I person. I love the bitterness. I love, I love the hoppy Don't taste. Break the, uh, Not going to break the top, which thanks. I've had been known to do more than once. More than once on camera. Yeah. Well, no, once on camera. The other one I didn't leave on camera, I don't think. It was the one that was delivered by drone. Yes. Okay. So we're going to shake it up. Shaking it up. And let me say this too uh, about the refrigeration controversy. I'm with Tom. If it says refrigerate after opening, stick it in the daggum refrigerator. The There's refrigerator. a reason. A lot of times it may not go bad. It may have enough uh, acid content to keep it on the shelf, but if the if the maker says to refrigerate, there's a reason. It probably means the peppers are going to taste fresher and better. Yes. And let's face it, when you take your hot sauce out of the refrigerator and pour it on warm food or hot food, it warms up. It comes to room temperature anyway. Right. So and why not store it where it's going to be safe and yet taste good as well? And if somebody that makes a product gives you a suggestion, it might be a good idea just to take that now, suggestion to heart. What do I smell immediately? Uh, Beer over peppers. Really? Nice. I was I'm not say. getting the blood orange part of the ale, but I'm getting the ale over pepper. All right. Absolutely. Now, um, let me say this. That's not particularly a very pleasant smell to me. I like the smell of peppers, and I like the smell of some ales. But to these two together, don't smell that great. But that right. doesn't mean a thing about flavor either. Correct. There are beers I don't like to smell that I love the flavor that are, of. So. That are very drinkable. Yeah. Let's try this. But I'm going to give you a fair review. I am too. In just a little bit is all it's going to take. I'm going to go a little bit more than Tom. I'm getting pulp, and I'm going to say that's from the peppers. It's got an immediate fatality and mm -hmm. a habanero heat. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah, it does. Now, let's read the ingredients. I want to read what I'm drink, uh, eating there. That's very good. It's hot. Actually, like I said, on, on if I was going to rate this on aroma, which aroma ratings don't mean nothing, but to mm -hmm. me it's just not a pleasant smell. But the flavor is outstanding. They gave me the hiccups again. My goodness. Bloodline Blood Orange Ale by Flying Dog Brewery. Now, if I know Tom, he's got the maximum allowable amount of ale in here by government law as far as alcohol content. It tastes a lot better than it smells. Blood Orange Juice. Which, well, with the, the actual uh, Flying Dog Brewery's Blood Orange Ale is uh, water, malt, hops, blood orange juice, blood orange pill. I, you know, I'm getting a little bit of that peel flavor, kind of like a, a zest. The malt is what I smell. Yeast, of course. Yeah. Chili peppers, carrots, mandarin oranges. I wonder if those carrots are roasted. That's what my roasted carrots kind of have that back flavor. Blood orange concentrate, apple cider vinegar, which to me is the best vinegar to use in a hot sauce if you're going to have to use vinegar. Sugar, xanthan gum. There's that gum, boy. Yeah, and everybody says xanthan. I don't know why they don't read the word as xanthan gum. Yeah. Onion powder, citric acid, ascorbic acid, and, and if you use those two things, not only is it a preservative, you don't have to use as much vinegar, why you're not getting a vinegar taste. Correct. Matter of fact, I get that ale flavor. I do. Then I get those peppers, which the burn is very, to me, a habanero and fatale. Fatales are a little bit hotter than a, a habanero. They are. But not as hot as a ghost. And maybe some But what they do, they hit up front, and, they, and they're, fit, they're I think they're related uh, to the habanero, well, through the chinense, I guess. But the uh, burn's immediate, and it, to me, those are two pleasant burns. It, it gives me the tongue, and it gives me a little right. bit of a lip burn, okay. and I love that. Uh, coriander seed, and garlic powder, and spices. And coriander seed, to me, uh, has kind of a citrusy flavor as well. Yes. So, uh, on flavor, I'm going to go ahead and give this, and, and I know it's going to sound like, oh, well, it's a commercial for Tom. It's not. The flavor is awesome. On Voodoo Chili, Bloodline Blood Orange Ale, I'm going to give it a 9. Right Nine on. out of ten. That's Matter of fact, I'm going to take another taste of it just to be sure. It is. My mouth is burning. It's hot. It's a hot sauce by itself, but I like that. I do too. Oh, the flavor's great. And see, it the burn didn't even intense on that bite. I can feel the the pulp of peppers. I guess it's the pulp of peppers. Now there may be some orange peel pulp in there. It looks like on the bottle. It's very good. It tastes very good. Nine out of ten. I'm sticking with that. On aroma, I'm not even going to rate it because it just don't smell that good to me. But it tastes awesome. Yeah. Not going to rate Tom on his marketing, 
he is I'm not an expert on marketing he is I'm obviously so why would I rate him on something he's way better at me at than you know what I'm saying Tom right. Tom's got that all down a uh, whole product though I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10 and tell you this is not a commercial for this product but if you like good hot sauce that's hot and has a good flavor 